Hello and welcome to math. Today we will be looking at patterning with decreasing patterns. All right, so for this question, um, we're going to look at um, kind of a calendar question. So this is a common decreasing pattern question that you might find. There are 49 days till Canada Day. Patty made a pattern to find out how many weeks that is. It starts 49, 42, 35, and it continues. So question A is what is the patterning rule? And question B is by how much did it decrease each time? So we can do this with simple subtraction. Um, so we could make a chart like we did in the increasing pattern rule, or we can just use subtraction to find out um, what it decreased by each time. Um, and so I'm just going to show you that method because we've already done the other one. Okay, so to figure out how much it decreased by each time, I'm actually going to answer that question B first. Um, just like on with any other test or any other assignment, do the part that's easiest first and then it can help you with the rest. Alright, so it started at 49 and then the next number was 42. So I'm going to take away 42 from 49 and see what the difference was. So 9 take away 2 is 7. 4 take away 4 is nothing. So that time it decreased by 7. Let's see about the next time. So now we'll use the next two numbers. So 42 take away 35. So you can't take 5 away from 2, so we will borrow. That becomes a 3. We'll put the 1 there. So 5 away from 12 is 7. 3 away from 3 is 0. So, so how much did it decrease each time? We always put a sentence. It decreased by seven each time. And that is going to be just about what we need to say for this question here. What is the patterning rule? So what is the patterning rule? Um, the pattern decreases and you have to have the word decreases or increases in the patterning rule increases or decreases so this one is the patterning rule or the pattern decreases by seven each time all right and so now there's one last little part to this question that I haven't shown you yet. So give me one sec here. So this is this one that says, how many weekends are left before Canada Day? So now what it's saying is now that we've figured out what the patterning rule is, it says use it and figure out the answer of how many weekends are left. So if I know that every week has a weekend, I'm really just figuring out how many weeks are left. It's the same thing. So here we go. This is where our chart comes in handy. You don't have to do it in a chart. You could just keep subtracting seven every time until you get down to no days left. But uh, it's, it's easy with a chart. So I'll do it that way just because I can. Whew, my marker does not like the stand. So uh, my pattern is decreasing by 7 every time. Let's see. So I have 49, 42, 35. Now, this is one way we can do it. I'm going to show you another way that's super easy too. Um, so after 35, we have 28, 21, uh, 14, and I need more squares, 7, and 0. So it's decreased by 7. Minus 7, minus 7, minus 7, minus 7, decreased by 7 every time. Minus 7, minus 7, and that's it. You can't minus 7 from 0. Well, you can, but 
not in math today with the pattern. All right, so how many weeks were left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven weeks till Canada Day. Ooh. There are seven weeks until Canada Day. And I'm just going to show you that whole sentence. All right. Okay, so I've erased our chart. Another way that we can tackle this is by subtracting seven each time. Uh, but really, the way that I figured out my chart so quickly was because it's your seven times tables, guys. 49, 42, 35, it's just your seven times tables. So all you have to do is think of your seven timetables and you have all your answers. Um, seven times one is seven. Seven times two equals 14. Seven times three equals 21. Seven times four equals 28. Seven times five equals 35. Seven times six equals 42. And seven times seven equals 49. And that happens to be our number that the pattern starts with, 49. So now I just have to count how many math problems did I come up with here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So again, there are still seven weeks left till Canada Day. Now, there is one last way that we can solve this. I hope I'm not confusing you too much. I'm just trying to give you as many different ways of doing this question as you can. Um, and there's one more that's exactly the opposite of what we just did. So um, it might just be quicker for you. Let's see, shall we? Okay, so if we figured out that this is just our sevens times tables, then what we can do is, um, if we know we're dividing uh, it's going down by 7 each time. All we have to do is take the total number in the pattern, what does it start with, and divide it by 7, folks. That's it. So we're dividing it by 7 because it's decreasing by 7 each time. So we're going to see how many groups of 7 are in 49. How many groups of 7? Because there are 7 days in a week. So 7 cannot go into 4. 7 can go into 49. 7 times 7 is 49. So 7 times 7 is 49. We su Ooh, my camera hates this marker. Um, let me just fix that up because it looks ugly. Alright, 9 take away 9 is nothing. 4 take away 4 is nothing. No remainder. The answer is 7. There are 7 weeks left till Canada Day. And for those of you who don't know, Canada Day is July 1st. All right, guys, have a lovely Mother's Day. Have a lovely sunny Sunday, and we will see you next time.